You know, it's funny. Um, everybody hear me okay? Yeah. Um, the past couple of days that I've been here in Montreal, when people ask me, you know, where am I from or whatever, and I say Los Angeles, Montrealers are so excited that I'm from Los Angeles. Uh, or that I live in Los Angeles right now, and, and, and of course the weather is envy producing, I understand that. Um, but they're really excited about LA because of the food in LA, and what's going on in LA, whether it's burgers or tacos or whatever it is. Um, and I readily admit I'm fully immersed in the food world in, in LA, and I, I love eating in LA, I love um, writing about food in, in Southern California, but I think Montreal is the most exciting culinary city in North America. And I think from a Jewish food perspective, um, this city is actually in many ways a, a living archive. And uh, it's kind of, I don't know exactly why, but it's a little bit of a um, Galapagos effect in the city in the sense that uh, it is an island. Um, but what I mean more by that is the sense that there are places here that have not changed in decades, some, almost a century in some cases. Um, and that is so unusual to find in the world today in terms of Jewish food. Um, most North American cities that have had a strong Jewish presence over the past century um, have, seen, have seen a lot of change in, that, in this past century, um, mainly fueled by gentrification. Um, New York, for example, big comparison here, um, the Lower East Side, sort of the, the spiritual center of Jewish life in New York, there are very few remnants of the Jewish culinary past on the Lower East Side today. But in Montreal, you have places like St. Peter Bagel, Fairmont, sure, Walensky's, uh, Unis. Uh, I mean, I, the fact that Chaim's uh, Jaime Skolnick just passed away, what, like a year or two ago, not even, this year? He was 95 years old. I mean, he lived through this entire history of feeding Montrealers at that same location. That is so unusual that a single family would continue to run a restaurant and keep the sort of, in the food world, we hate to use this word, but it really is appropriate. It's authentic. And um, you see this all over the Jewish food world in Montreal. And so you have this kind of culinary map. Um, Schwartz's, yes. Snowden Deli, also. Um, Moishas. Um, the list goes on and on. And, and I, I realize that that list is very Ashkenazi focused, but that is a list of the original immigrant generation that came here, uh, the, the roots of that generation 100 plus years ago. And so in many ways, Montreal is very unusual um, to have all those remnants that are still busy and part of the fabric and the, this central to the identity of this city, I think. Um, so that's highly unusual to have so many historical places of, of worth in terms of the Jewish food world all in one place. So there's something going on there. To me, I see it as part of a larger uh, picture of Montreal or uh, <coughs> Jewish history in this province more generally. And I think that has to do, it's connected to the kind of um, strong connection to tradition and the uh, a sort of value uh, in, in history in the city. And that is something that's present, I think, on many layers in this city. But in the Jewish world, we see that in terms of a strong presence of Yiddish in this city, which historically has always been a big part of the Jewish identity here, much more, um, even if it's less today, much more than any other, Jew any other city in North America. Uh, a continuing tradition of conservatism in the religious sense, uh, which is also unusual compared to other cities in North America, especially compared to the cities in the United States, where a more secular reform vision of Jewish life has dominated. Um, and in a larger, I believe, I don't know the current statistics, but a larger percentage of children attending Jewish schools, Jewish, uh, Jewish families sending their children to Jewish day schools. 
Though in all those three ways, in Yiddish and conservatism and in Jewish day school, those are just three examples of the ways that the Montreal Jewish community has remained tethered to tradition in a way that is different and more uh, historically focused than other cities and other communi Jewish communities in North America. And I want to add food to that picture as well, because I think that this kind of idea of Montreal as being this living archive of Jewish food is part has to do with that um, that value in history and in tradition. And so while many of you, I don't know if people, maybe not in this room, but I think Montrealers more generally are excited about other places, like Los Angeles, I'm excited about Montreal and that tradition. And so I'm really happy to be